In this video, we're going to look at how we can add and subtract complex numbers which contain i, or the square root of negative 1. The nice part about working with i is we can usually use the same properties we use with any other variable, x, y, z, a, b, c, i, it's all the same. The only difference is at the end, if there's any exponents on i, we can simplify that exponent. But with adding and subtracting, we aren't really dealing with exponents. When we add and subtract with variables, we simply combine like terms. So when we add and subtract with i, we're going to do just that, combine our like terms. When we have 2 plus 5i, plus the complex number 4 minus 7i, we'll combine the 2 and the 4, the real part, to get 6, and we'll combine the i's. 5i minus 7i is negative 2i and we get our final solution of 6 minus 2i. Subtracting with complex numbers requires one extra step because we've got a negative in front of the parentheses. We do need to distribute that negative through onto both terms. So we have 4 minus 8i, the opposite of 3 is negative 3, and the opposite of negative 5i is positive 5i. And now I'm allowed to combine like terms. 4 minus 3 is 1, and negative 8i plus 5i is negative 3i. And we get our difference of 1 minus 3i, simply combining like terms after distributing any negatives through. This last example has addition and subtraction in it. 5i minus 3 plus 8i plus negative 4 plus 7i, and again, we'll see the same pattern as we'll distribute any negatives through parentheses, and then we can combine like terms. Take the negative in the middle through that parentheses, and we end up with 5i minus 3 minus 8i plus negative 4 plus 7i. And then we can go back and combine like terms. Let's do the real part first. The negative 3 and the negative 4, that's going to equal negative 7. And then the imaginary part, the i's, 5i minus 8i plus 7i is positive 4i. Nothing fancy when adding or subtracting complex numbers. We simply distribute any negatives, if needed, and then combine like terms, treating the i just like any other variable. 